Okay guys, so things you're going to need to style your lab or your log bob are a curling wand. You can do a curling iron as well, but I prefer the thicker barrel because it gives more of that thick kind of curl and wavy texture. So I prefer a thicker bar barrel. Bleh. And I think this one is like an inch to an inch and a half, about something about that, inch and a quarter. Um, and you'll need a straightener and you'll see why towards the end of the video, a clip so you can section off your hair. And also, I would say you should invest in some good dry texturizing spray. So I'll get more into that. But first we're gonna start with, starting with base layer for section of hair. Okay, so I'm gonna section off my hair um, and I'm gonna start with a bunch of the layers I just section off and clip on top with my clip and I start with the lower layer first. And all I do is just make sure I've got all the hairs on either side. And with this layer what I typically do is just do it like twice. So curl it twice. So what you're going to do though is you're going to alternate your curls. So this one that's further away from my face that doesn't frame it as much is going to go towards my head like this and you want to make sure you're leaving out about an inch to an inch and a half of the end of your hairs because for that long bob look you really want to see that blunt kind of cut so you know that cut at the end of your hair so we want to make sure that's left out not getting too curled so you hold it for a few seconds, however long, and you'll come out with a little messy little curl, just like that. And then this one, we're not going to go towards the face, we're going to go away from it. So you wrap it under the barrel and towards your head, and leave out that little section, like I said. It gets pretty repetitive, so not much explaining to do with the curls, honestly. All right, so then if you have thin hair or hair that doesn't wanna hold a curl, you can use hairspray, and I like to do this between each layer, just a little light coat like that. Because we don't really want tight curls for this look, it's all about that messy kind of bedhead look, but the put together kind, you know. So, I don't want tight curls, so I don't want them to stay like this, but I don't want them to completely fall out either. Okay, so we did the bottom layer, now we're going to go on to the next couple of layers. Okay, so I sectioned it off again, and I'm just going to grab this layer. And the further away the hair is from your face, the more you want to curl it towards your head like that and leave a little bit out as always. Because it just looks better, I think personally, and also for the messy look is if your hair, the ones that are framing your face are going away from your face, it gives it a little more volume kind of look. All right guys, so now we're on the top layer of our head. So I like to make the bottom layers, I kind of like to hold the curl a little bit longer because I have thinner hair so then the bottom layers can push up the top and make it look a little bit thicker. So you do you with your type of hair, I'm just saying for thinner hair that's going to work best. What is in my hair? What? What is this? It's like a little fuss or something. I thought it was like a bug. I was gonna start crying. Okay. <laughs> so, same concept applies for the top layer. You're gonna take a chunk of hair. I like to keep them a little bit thicker just so it's not super curly because I don't really want a cur curly look. I want like a messy kind of beachy texturized look. 
So this is gonna go towards my head again. Okay, so for the bangs, I'm gonna take them away from the face. So I like to still bring them back like this. Leave a little bit out. And I don't want them super curled, so I'm gonna try and just leave them in there for like a second. There we go, okay. That turned out good. Okay, so now that you're done curling, you should be left with a look kind of like this. So I don't want this, these curls to be as structured. So what you start doing is you just start messing around with your hair and mushing it up, I suppose you could call it. So now comes the, in my opinion, vital part of the lab. So this is the part where you're going to straighten the ends. So you can really kind of see that blunt kind of cut. do is go to my texturizing spray so I did some research on these let me grab the other one <laughs> and I don't want to pay a bunch of money for a texturizing spray just because I'm a college student and who has the kind of money um, oh I just hit the desk um, if you do have that kind of money or you want to go all out I've been hearing great things about Orby, I think it's called. Uh, I think it's about 40 to 50 bucks though. So it is on the steeper end. But I have two texturizing sprays that I think I like a lot. Um, the Garnier Fruit Teas, uh, Deconstructed Texturized Teas. This was like three bucks. Like it's pretty good for a $3 one. And this one I had to order online. I couldn't find it in the store. Um, Not Your Mother's and it's Double Take Dry Finish Spray. So these are both pretty good. I would say this one gives me a little more oomph at the beginning, but it doesn't last as long as this one. So I'm just gonna choose one and start going for it, I guess. So today I'm gonna use the Not Your Mother's Double Take um, Spray. So what a texturizing spray does is if it's a dry one like this, it's not gonna weigh down your hair like a pomade would if you really wanna give that nice texture to your hair. So for girls with thinner hair like myself, this is really going to help kind of voluminize your hair without weighing it down. So all you do is take sections and spray like this. And you'll start to see it like or feel when you do it that it gives you like this like gritty feeling. And it's not like super gritty though, or it's like gross. But it's like kind of like if you were at the beach and stuff. So then you spray one side. All right, so all I did was spray the spray and you can also back comb it like this if you want for a little more volume, but I was happy with it. So you got the straight ends and then you got the texturized look and you've got the kind of in and out semi curl so it's not looking super curly. And this is the finished product of how to style your long bob. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it if you're looking for a way to style your long bob because there are different kind of ways you can do it I guess and at first I wasn't sure how to but I really fell in love with the look of the blunt cut and just kind of the texturized look um, and I really hope you can see how texturized it is via the camera because I mean I can tell obviously in real life but anyways I really hope that you like this look and you learned something from it, so please comment, share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. I would appreciate it.